I should have recorded this last night. I'm recording this the day after the season finale of Westworld aired, the season three final episode. And the reason I say I should have recorded it last night is because I can barely remember it now. I've lost interest in this show, which is really disappointing. In a way, it's almost more disappointing than if the show had done something like to make me angry. So, you know, I can I look back at things like Dexter or Game of Thrones, and those just went bad. I can get worked up about it. But there's something slightly... Depressing is too harsh a word, but slightly just more draining about seeing something you used to really liking. You're watching it and you're going like, I just don't care. And that's kind of what, like, spoilers, I suppose, be warned. They, uh, they apparently killed one of my favorite characters in the show. And my reaction was, huh, okay. That, like, that's not right. That shouldn't be my reaction to a character I have historically really, 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 really enjoyed being killed. I should have a more of a reaction than just, huh, okay. But that's just where I am with the show at this point. I don't know what it's doing anymore. And I don't find the setting as interesting. I don't find, I feel like the intricacies of the park and the relationships between the host and the relations of the host to the people and everything else, that whole dynamic, I'm just missing a lot. And this whole sort of world revolution thing, it's, I, I just don't get it. I mean, like, I get it. I, I follow what's happening, but like, it does, this does not feel like a natural extension of what the show was before. This feels forced. And it's detached enough that I di it didn't carry my interest over. I think part of the problem is that a lot of the characters feel like they have been forced into the narrative. Maeve, very literally. The only reason Maeve is... And Maeve is one of the best characters in the, in the show, don't get me wrong. But she's here by force from another character, and she's fighting Dolores because she's being coerced to. Which made the showdowns between Maeve and Dolores very half-hearted, no matter how they went, because Maeve wasn't doing it because she cared or thought Dolores should be stopped, but because she was being coerced. When the characters aren't invested that heavily, it's hard for me to get that way. And now we've got this thing with... I'm just going to call her Charlotte at the end. And again, Tessa Thompson is great. was great this season, even. So I can't even get that excited for the prospect of a fourth season, which... I didn't realize until a couple of weeks ago it got approved for, and I don't know if I'm going to bother tuning in. I don't think I care enough. I'll, ch I'll watch for trailers. If it seems like it's just going to be a direct continuation of more of the same, I may not bother. But she, she appears to be building an army to... The implication is wage a war against humanity. Except that's what Dolores was doing. Except it's not really what Dolores was doing. But it's what they set up and presented it as Dolores was doing. But then we find out at the end, no, she was freeing humanity from insight. But it, it just feels like the entire thing has done a big circle. Because we start from a position where it looked like and was presented as if Dolores is trying to wipe out humanity. Now we find out later that's not the case, but now we've got a new threat that is just doing the thing we already thought another character was doing. So Charlotte doing this is not an escalation. It's just a doing the thing we thought another character was doing earlier in the show. 
Turns out Dolores wasn't doing that, but this isn't new. This isn't an escalation. It's a picking up of a dropped plot point, basically. <sighs> I, I, just, I just can't find a reason to care at this point. I didn't care as I watched, you know, Dolores getting tortured. I don't care about Caleb. Maeve was, as I said, was coerced being there. So she's not super invested, which meant I wasn't super invested in her involvement. Charlotte was about the only one who woke me up because she was invested. She cared. Uh, and William to a certain extent. But then, of course, they killed him but also not because there's a host that's like the embodiment of the kind of man he was when he was in the park. But if you're going to go through all that and just kill him, then what was the point of him this season? <sighs> William was my favorite character the first season. They really haven't known what to do with him since then. He's had some decent moments. The thing with his daughter was well handled. The fallout for that was pretty decent. He had some good moments this season, but it's ultimately just so he can end up dead, but also not. So who cares? I don't even know what Bernard's doing. You know, I'm saying I don't know. It's not that I can't follow it. I could, but I didn't care enough to put in the mental energy to figure it out and put two and two together because I don't care if it adds up to four or not. It could be two plus two equals 73. I don't care. That really bums me out. So I love the first two seasons of this show. Second season especially. That was phenomenal. And this one I just... Oh, this bugs me. I know it's working for some people, and that's great. If you liked this season and you liked this finale, I am happy for you. I wish I did, but I don't. <sighs> Westworld Season 3, you've seen it, what you think about it? Drop your thoughts down in the comments. And then there's all the usual stuff, such as liking and subscribing and Patreon and sharing video and so on and so forth. No sweat on that, though. No pressure. We take it easy around here. So just come on back next time you need a break.